Hey, what is up, you guys? It is Taylor, and today I have a very exciting video for you guys. Today, I am going to be doing my favorite songs at the moment. I have a lot of songs to talk about. I've not made this video since, like, June, and it is basically almost the end of September, which is crazy. This year is just flying by. I can't believe it, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My name is Taylor, and we're going to hop into all these songs that I'm going to talk about. So, let's just get started. So, I made the list, like couple minutes ago but then I got myself a little bit distracted but here we are so first song I've been into so much and this is Dead Man Walking by John Belly and first of all I've heard two of his songs before one is Woke the F Up and the other one is All Time Low which I'm ironically that's a bit I like but his song a dead man walking is just so like uppy and fun and I just love this song and I'm not like obsessed with John Belly but my sister is and I really do like a lot of his music anytime she plays it I just don't get into it as quick like as she does or she did so yeah I just really love this song if you haven't listened to it you totally should because I feel like John Belly is pretty underrated so if you haven't listened to him you totally should because he has a really awesome voice and I love him okay next song i'm going to talk about is no tears left to cry by ariana grande i'm not obsessed with ariana grande but i do like a lot of her bigger songs and i haven't listened to her in like quite a long time but no tears left to cry is just such like a bop it's just so like different from kind of like what she's had before and i just really love this song if you haven't heard it you should go listen to it it's been played on the radio but jilly at times but i just really love this song i just think it's very different from what she's had in the past and i've always had a lot of respect for ariana grande i'm just not like obsessed with her but i do like a lot of her stuff and if you haven't heard this song before check it out because it's a bop okay <laughs> next song i'm going to talk about my friend kyra got me into this song because i'm like kyra i need some new music to listen to and she sent me like 40 songs so kyra thank you but um the song i've been into uh lately that she kind of recommended to me is roller coasters by bleachers this song is so upbeat and fun i can't even explain it, it kind of sounds like the 1975 so if you like the 1975 you're going to like this song and i just really love this song it's just like really like chill and like relaxing but it's also really upbeat and fun i think it's in the love simon soundtrack i'm not really sure i just watched that movie recently i really should have looked that up before i started filming but um i really do love this song it's very happy and fun and i feel like bleachers is a very underrated artist i don't know if he's a band or it's just an artist i don't really know but he's a very underrated person if you haven't heard of him check him out because he probably has boppy songs i don't know <laughs> this is the only song i really know um next song i'm going to talk about is a country song which i've talked about country a few times in my channel i'm not like obsessed with country music but i do listen to it every once in a while um the song i made it to recently is simple by florida georgia line this song is just so upbeat and fun like i can't even explain it like the first time i heard it i was just like simple like what i don't understand but um i really do love this song it's very happy and fun it's been playing on country radio a few times and if you're not like obsessed with country music you're definitely going to really like this song because it's not too much of country but it still has like country roots in it and i just love this song it's very happy and fun if you haven't heard it go check it out because florida georgia line has some bops just saying i don't know why i keep snapping in this video i'm very sorry okay next song i'm going to talk about is stumbling home by small pools but they did another version of it with this band called the aces and girl first of all it's five times better than a regular version second of all the girl who sings in aces i don't really listen to them like that much so i'm really sorry but the girl who sings in aces like oh my god her voice is so pretty like oh my god i can listen to it for days but um i just really love this version that they did of stumbling home because this song is really happy and fun like either way but the fact that like they kind of added like a girl's vocal on it is so like different and so like kind of odd for small pools because i feel like you guys or that you kind of just hear a lot of guys singing if you listen to small pools but like adding a girl to this song which is such a smart idea so like small pools you're the bomb. I love you all anyway. But um, I just really love this song. If you haven't listened to it, you totally should. And Stumbling like Home is just a great song in general. They have a regular version of it as well if you don't want the girl in it. But just go check this song out because it's great. I don't even know what the heck I just said, but just go listen to it. Okay. Next song. Our next few songs I'm going to talk about, sorry, are all by Five Seconds of Summer off of their last album called Young Blood. Um, the few songs I've been loving off of that are Talk Fast, Lie to Me, 
and Ghost of You. Ghost of You is one of the saddest songs I've ever heard in my life. Lie to Me is just so like relatable and talk fast. It's honestly just the bop and I love Fly Sauce. The new album, like Young Blood, like I was just saying, like it's not my favorite thing in the world, but I do still have a lot of respect for Fly Sauce and I have to get into something that they do because I just love them so much and I really do appreciate all their older stuff. And Young Blood is really good. It's just not my favorite thing that they've put out, but I do have a lot of respect for the album. I know it's been doing crazy well, so congratulations, Fly Sauce. I love you all so much. You all know that by now. But yeah, those few songs are just amazing, and you all should go listen to them. Okay, next song I'm going to talk about is Afterglow by The Driver Error, aka Ross and Rocky Lynch, aka uh, Somewhat Still R5. Very confusing, um, but I really love the song. It's very happy and fun. It's very... Um, different from what they uh, put out with Preacher Man. Preacher Man, honestly, not even gonna lie to you all, I kind of hated that song, but then after a while, I kind of became like obsessed with it. But then, once I heard Afterglow, I'm like, this is not Ross and Rocky, this sounds like somewhat to 75, and I was very confused, but um, I really do love the song, it's very happy and fun, and I just really like it, and it's kind of a boppy, slow type song, but it's a good song. If you haven't heard it, go check it out, because it's a lot. Okay, next song. Our next few songs I'm going to talk about are by a um, band called uh, Why Don't We. I have been so obsessed with them lately. A uh, thank you to my friend Michaela because I've heard of them, but I haven't taken the time to listen to them. Honestly, my own fault. But uh, my favorite songs by them are These Girls Talk, Friends, and Hooked. Those songs are amazing. I have no words. I feel like I'm going to be obsessed with Why Don't We for a long time. And that's a good thing because they are some pretty decent good looking people. And they have some really good songs. And Friends is definitely my favorite out of this whole list. Friends is just literally a great song. If you haven't heard it, check it out because it's great. But all the other songs you should also check out because Why Don't We really has some really good bops. I'm just saying. They're a good band. Okay, next few songs I'm going to talk about are by Nash, and that is Dear Insecurities and a Broken Hearts Club. Dear Insecurities is one of the saddest inspirational songs I've ever heard in my life. And um, the Broken Hearts Club is just kind of a funny song, but it's kind of sad, though. Like, the way, like, he sings that song, like, the lyrics and stuff in it are, like, kind of funny, but, like, it, it's also kind of sad. I don't know how to explain it. You kind of just have to listen to it. But, um, I love Nash. I actually saw him open up for Altimolo about a month ago, and I did not realize how much of a good of, like, a performer he is. I've never seen him live before, and I've always, like, wanted to, but I never really got into him until, like, about a month ago. And, like, I'm, like, kind of obsessed with him now, and I think he's, like, super just, like, relaxed and, like, chill and, like, I love it. Um, but, yeah, those two songs are just amazing. If you haven't heard them, check them out because they are great. Okay, next um, song I'm going to talk about is uh, Broken Hearted by Carmen. This song I've not heard since, like, probably 2011, 2012, and then it's uh, 2018. Um, and I actually saw somebody post about this on their Instagram story. Somebody that goes to my school, she posted on her Instagram story or something. And I was like, how? Like, I've not heard a song in so long, and I went up listening to it, and I kind of became obsessed with it. And I don't listen to it, like, too, too much, but every once in a while I listen to it, and I'm like, wow, I haven't listened to this song in so long, and it's still so good and so boppy. If you ever heard it, go check it out. Okay, next few songs I'm going to talk about are all by Shawn Mendes because about a couple weeks ago I got to see him open up for like the Eagles kickoff football thingy. I don't really know what the heck it was called, but it was so worth it to go, just letting you all know. And it was a very fun time. But anyway, the few songs I've been into by him are There's Nothing Holding Me Back, Mercy, Treat You Better, Nervous, and In My Blood. Those songs are just amazing. I have no words. I love Shawn Mendes and I cannot wait to see him again because seeing him maybe like cry and it was just amazing and I love Shawn Mendes I have so much respect for him and I want all his albums like on vinyl I just haven't gotten around to that but he's just a great person and if you don't listen to Shawn Mendes you should because he's a really cute beautiful person okay next song I'm going to talk about is uh love it if we made it by the 1975 which I just talked about like a few songs ago um I love the 1975 I'm not like obsessed with them but I do like a few of their songs I love love me girls and chocolate um and those songs are amazing but my friend Kyra also recommended me this song and I was like 
girl i love this song and i really like it. it's just very like chill and like relaxing it's kind of like a love song but like not really i don't really know how to explain it kind of just have to listen to it but um, i really do love this song it's very chill and 1975-ish i don't really know just go listen to it i don't really know how to explain that song because 1975 they kind of confuse me on like their music genre thingy i don't really know what i'm trying to say anyway moving on next song i'm going to talk about is mine by bazzy and this song kind of sounds like a why don't we song to me like before i got into why don't we and i heard like a few of their songs this is what it reminded me of like a why don't we song why i don't know but um i really do like this song it's very um upbeat and fun it's been played on the radio a few times and i just really like a lot of the lyrics in it if you haven't heard it you should definitely go check it out because it's really fun so yeah all right Next song I'm going to talk about is Simple Things by Brooklyn and Bailey. Brooklyn and Bailey are two YouTubers, if you guys didn't know. Um, I've been obsessed with them for um, a long time, but um, I really love how they kind of did music like late last year, which I thought was pretty cool. They put out three songs, um, Dance Like Me, Simple Things, and What We're Made Of. Simple Things is my favorite out of all the three. Just saying, I think it's their best song. It's such a cute little love song, and I just love it so much in a music video. Girl, I cried over that so hard. But um, I really love that song. It's absolutely amazing, and I just love it so much. And I love Broken and Bailey. I love that whole family, to be honest. But like, Broken and Bailey, I just love them so much. And if you haven't watched them, you totally should. But on this song, it's just very cute and adorable. And I listen to it every once in a while, and it's just a really fun song. And I've been kind of into it a little bit more lately than I kind of was before. So, yeah. Okay, and then the last song I've been into lately is Personal by Harvey. Harvey is actually on tour with the Vamps right now because they just started their U.S. tour, which is crazy. I'm seeing them so soon. I'm so excited. But um, I love Harvey. I think he's super cute and like I love his accent. Like I'm obsessed with it. But um, I really love this song, Personal. It's very upbeat and fun. And I just really love this song and I just love Harvey. He's great. But on this song, it's like just a really like cute like relationship song but it's not too much of like a love song i don't really know how to explain it there's like a whole story behind it he talked about it in um an interview so you could probably go find it there but um i really do love the song it's very amazing and very boppy but anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed my favorite songs at the moment make sure you all subscribe to my channel if you haven't already my name is taylor and also comment below a couple of your favorite songs at the moment because I've been into clearly a lot of songs like I just talked about for probably like 9-10 minutes. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all and I will see you all in my next video. Alright, bye guys!